Okay, how do you stay in the knowledge with a capital K, i.e. how do you stay in the silence or the infinite? Um, for me, it's like, um, I mean, of course, it, it, potentially, I mean, Ramana does share that it could happen all in a split second, like the terror of dying, of the death of the ego suddenly arises, and it's watched, and the ego burns off, and enlightenment happens, even though that's... Um, um, I think that's not the usual experience of uh, enlightenment. I think it's usually more of a, there's a burning to get rid of everything in the ego over a period of time as the teacher, as the students are getting more advanced. And eventually, like I've had one, I had one opportunity of the death of my ego and I failed it. That was probably about 20 years ago. And another opportunity for the dying of the ego hasn't yet come, but it's the thing of like, as the terror of realizing that the ego is, is about to die and going through that. Um, uh, so, um, you know, is, is the willingness to bear it and not have any latch on to any thought to try and re re-energize the ego. So how do you stay in the knowledge? Well, the, the question of course is, means that, um, one isn't enlightened yet. So to stay in the knowledge. So what happens with most advanced seekers is they're in and out. They have periods of sublime infiniteness or, or stillness, and then they're back in the in the identifying with the with the thoughts and the body, and the ego identity. So to stay in the knowledge for me, then it's like, um, well, the good news. Okay, what's the good news? The good news is the more advanced you get, the easier it gets, because uh, it's like as more and more of the ego is deleted through heavy self-inquiry or through cancellation or, or course in miracles, then it's like there's not much left of the ego. So that it's like a, a burning to just to get rid of what's left. And that can sometimes become overwhelming, like with Dr. Hawkins, where suddenly there's a profound experience and there's all, leaving everything, the family, the work, and going off into the desert in Arizona in a, a cabin just to burn off what remains of uh, the last vestiges of the ego. And that it's like a calling from within just to have the job finished off. Um, and and until that time, uh, one is at various levels of commitment to just remaining in the in the silence or the stillness or or the infinite. Uh, but you know, like the world is always um, depending on where you're at, will offer temptations. Um, uh, sometimes you, one can't. It's not the right thing to do if one has like dependent children like a five-year-old child, it's like something will say it's not, you can't just uh, leave it. But um, at a certain point, though, there is the option. It then becomes, um, it's like the invitation to finish everything off, or there's, you know, the, the, it's, then it would be temptation. Like the ego goes, no, I have to work. I have to make sure the body survives. I have to sort of stick around uh, to be there for a family, even though family may not really need one. And uh, or maybe even happy for you to be, you know, follow your passion. So at that point, then it's like resolving what are the hooks that you're not willing to let go of at that point uh, to to just give give the burning process 100 percent permission. So the world will automatically bring up those things which will prevent you from letting go absolutely 100 percent. And I would say, as a, um, you know, sometimes it's not appropriate to let go 100 percent. Uh, especially if there's dependent people or young children, uh, I would say, um, you know, speak to mentors because it may not be the right thing to do just to abandon a five-year-old uh, child and go off into the desert just to be meditating. But if, there, if there's not that type of thing going on, then really it's a choice um, of uh, are you willing to let everything go uh, and, and be in there. And the world, that's the, that's the world's job, to offer temptation. That's what this whole world is about. You know, here are reasons for you not to be 100% free. The world constantly provides you with those, those ideas until everything is resolved.